babies and welcome back to my channel it is beauty with Christy today I come with this prom inspired look right here it's a lot of glitter it's glowy it's bronzy skin is on point I'm fine with this look this is a look that I will definitely wear on a night out so you will see me doing this again um, yeah, I wanted to film a prom inspired look. I absolutely love this look. I love the lashes. Mm, I'm feeling myself right now. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look as much as I did. I love this look. It is so sexy. It is completely slaying my life right now. So if you definitely like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Welcome to all my new sugar babies who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for the love and support. But without further ado, if you want to see how I got this look, right here this nice glittery bomb of hotness mm -hmm. then just keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you loves on the next one hello my sugar babies and welcome back so as usual we are going to prep the skin moisturizer i'm using the nivea almond oil one it is nourishing and amazing and following that, we are going to use the Smashbox uh, Poreless Primer. Following that, we are going to handle these brows off camera. Magic. Don't I wish it was that easy. <laughs> palette today, I'm going to use the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. And I'm going to start using these tones first in the crease. I'm mainly going to use those shadows in the whole tutorial, so just going to go back and forth in between these for more depth. As always, you want to make sure you blend so everything is seamless. And when you're working with glitter, you want to make sure that you take that extra minute to blend some more. Clearly, I was feeling the music. And back to blending. <laughs> and now we're just taking the darker brown shade and we are placing that in the crease and then we're gonna blend as well. I'm going to work on doing one eye on camera so that it's not so fast and zoomed in and you guys can follow along more. Because um, I know it's hard to focus and follow along on a look when, it, when it's not in the actual time and it's being fast forward. So I hear you. Don't worry, boo. I got you. Following along that, we're just blending. And again, we're just adding depth in the outer and... To your liking, I didn't want to go so smoky right away because, again, you do work with glitter, so you want to see how the eye looks first. Then we're going to take that shimmery, like bronzy, and put it all over the lid as a base. Okay, now here is where I start taking the black eyeshadow and start building the smoky depth to my liking. Um, you can go as high as you want, but know with black, you should always work in increments. Don't just go packing on a whole blob of black right away. It is so hard to blend it after. Now to give it a little bit more depth, I didn't want to continue to use black, I picked up the NARS Galapagos shadow. The shadow is life changing. If you don't have it, it is an amazing brown sparkly shadow. You need it. Then of course, following along that, we're going to blend. When you think you're done blending, what ladies? You blend some more. Side note, I'm really feeling my brows. I've been using the Maybelline Brow Drama Palette again, and I don't know why I stopped using it in the first place. This on Instagram, this um, adhesive base for the glitter, it's Lit Cosmetics. It is actually Lit Ladies. It 
tax on your glitter like no other like i don't have any fallout with this throughout the day it is amazing it is like cement for glitter go get it now i'm just trying to blend the glitter like i said you don't want any harsh lines you just want to make sure you blend the edges following that we are going to prep the under eye with Origins Jensen Under Eye Cream and the Becca Under Eye Brightening. Then I'm going to do my foundation. You guys have seen all this goodness, so I'm just going to do all this off camera and I will be back. I am using the uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation stick. I love it. Life changing. This foundation is my summer foundation right now. Then following along that, I am using Milani Luminoso blush. We're gonna pack on the shadow underneath the eye. I'm just using the gray and a little bit of the black. In the Makeup Forever Aqua XL in the number M22. Mascara as per usual, the Maybelline Falsies Drama. Then once I have my lashes on, which are House of Lashes in Boudoir, I'm going to put some more mascara, mend them together. For highlight, I'm using the Anastasia Gleam Kit. And to highlight the eyes, I just took the Gleam Kit in Crushed Pearl and just put that in the center of my eye as well. Open it. Once you are done, don't forget to lock and seal. I am using Fix Plus just to mend all the products together. I gave you a couple of lip choices right here. This is Dose of Color in Stone. Cute, nice pink with it. For option two, I used a gloss and this is NYX in Creme Brulee, my all-time favorite. If you like a glossy lip, then that is for you. And then of course, I was feeling the music again. This is why editing takes me so long, because half of my footage is like this. <laughs> now I'm using ColourPop in Trap and you guys know I am up fan of this lip it doesn't matter what I look I always want to use this one this is it for this glam look I decided to do some front curls so I am just letting it down and here we have it here is the final look I hope you guys love this look I am obsessed with this glittery sexiness give it a thumbs up if you liked it as well I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you on the next one